Hi everyone! So in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you my perfume collection. So I will be sharing with you all of the perfumes that you can see on my desk here. Starting from this side, up on the shelf, and there's some more up higher. <laughs> Going all the way across to this side down here as well. So I will be sharing with you all of those scents and more. So if you're interested, please keep watching. So for my perfume collection video, I'm going to start over the left side of my desk. And I think I might go from top up here to bottom and then across and then we'll work our way across my desk. So when we get started, I'll start from the top. So to start with, from the top of the display here, I've got some Pinrose scents, and this is a, like a discovery box that includes quite a generous rollable size sample of each. Um, you buy this, obviously, it's not free, but I like the fact that I could try a whole different, well, all of their range, pretty much. So it's got all of the scents in there. With the Pinrose scents, I do like quite a few of them. They are very different. Um, but they're quite difficult to get a hold of here in Australia. I haven't really seen anywhere that sells the Pinrose scents. I actually purchased these when I was overseas the last time. So we'll see if I can find them. <laughs> Next to that though, I've got two of the Carolina Herrera uh, Good Girl sample size perfumes. And then I'll move further down. So in the next section here, I've got the Emporio Armani Because It's You. Now for this particular scent, I've actually done a review just on this scent. So if you are interested, I do have a video dedicated to that one. Next to those, I've got Gucci Ode Parfum 2, which is an older scent again. And I actually quite like the bottle. It's quite a heavy bottle. Uh, it's a fairly significant kind of size. <laughs> um, below that, you've got Dior Pure Poison. And then in the one across from it, there are a lot of small sample sizes. So I'm just going to move the camera around a little bit over here because there's one hiding behind the corner there. So in this little sample section here, I've got Versace Bright Crystal, You've got an Anna Sui, I think, perfume, Angel, uh, Miracle, two of Scada perfumes, and a Marc Jacobs perfume. And then hiding right at the back here is a perfume uh, called G. And I think it, I think it might be from uh, something Beverly Hills, or um, I'm not sure now, <laughs> but it's an older scent. And I actually purchased this one when I was in high school. Um, one of my friends had tried it and I actually really liked it. And uh, I purchased the big bottle and it came with a small one. So I never used the small one and that's why it's there. <laughs> so down below, you've then got the iconic apple shaped perfumes by Nina Ricci. You've got then Rumor, uh, Rumor to Rose. So that one, it's it's part of a lot of scents that I purchased when I was trying to find a really nice floral scent. I was trying a lot of scents for my wedding, actually, and I wanted something rosy. Um, and even after that, I still tried to find some more rose scents until I found the perfect rose. <laughs> so you'll notice that there are quite a few rose or floral scents in my collection, and that's one of the reasons why. So if I move further down on that bottom shelf there, just at the back, you'll see there's two of the flower bombs here and here. Um, they're not the original flower bombs. They're the different versions of the Eau de Toilette versions. Um, and they, I mean, they make so many different versions. If you are interested, though, in the original, um, that's on the other side of my collection, which we'll get to eventually. Um, but I do have a video on that, too. Over this side, this particular scent is Malibu Sen. Um, from memory, it is an oriental, like a woody oriental kind of scent. I actually had another bottle of this 
and I completed it or almost finished it and gave the rest to my mum because she really liked it. And it's quite difficult to find, at least in my experience, uh, and it is a very different kind of scent, particularly for me. Uh, I don't have too many like it in my collection, but it is still really nice. Uh, down further, I will zoom out slightly in a minute, but you've got hiding back here the Dolce & Gabbana uh, Rose The One. If we can get that into focus, it's very old school YouTube here. <laughs> so that is uh, another rosy floral scent. Next to that is the YSL Baby Doll Paris. Uh, this again is more of an older scent. I actually really like it still though. It's very, very sweet, uh, but I don't have too much left in this one, as you can tell. I'll pop that down there. Now I will zoom out a little bit because the next set, or the next fragrances are actually part of the same fragrance house or collection. And they are the Britney Spears perfumes. So, from the back, I don't remember the names off by heart, but this one I think is Midnight Fantasy. Yeah. So this particular one is the Midnight Fantasy. I like, I do like a lot of the fantasy perfumes, and I think the Midnight Fantasy has a cherry note. One of them does, and I'm pretty sure it's a Midnight Fantasy, and I really like sour cherry in perfumes. The next one here is the original fantasy and this particular one is actually the original fantasy you can tell because of the rhinestones around the neck of the bottle uh, on the re-release or the newer versions they don't actually have the rhinestones on it I've had many many bottles of this and this is one of the backup bottles that I've gone through I used to wear this all the time in the mid 2000s uh, I still really like it they have re-released it and it is very similar, but I find the lasting power on the original formula is better. These are newer to my collection. So this one is Festive Fantasy. It's a very colourful sort of perfume jar there. <laughs> perfume bottle, I should say. The next one is Island Fantasy. Again, you can really identify fantasy just from afar. As soon as you see it, you recognize it straight away. And the last of the larger sizes is the Fantasy Intense, which this particular one I'm pretty sure was released this year. It may have been last year. And it's very similar to the original version, um, but I think it's meant to be a more intense scent. But if you are interested in any of the Britney Spears perfumes, do let me know and I could do a review on either one of them or the collection as a whole. There is another little one hiding here. This I think was Circus. Yeah, Britney Spears Circus Fantasy. And that's another older, um, older scent too. So moving across and up the very back, this is another one that's easily recognisable as well for those that are interested in it. It is Taylor Swift's Wonderstruck. It's a very sweet scent yet again. I love the bottle because it's holographic. As you can tell, my nails <laughs> also holographic, but it's just so pretty. And this one, I don't think you can actually get it anymore. Uh, so it is hard to find. And um, a lot of people liked it, but I guess not enough. Next to that is another Britney Spears perfume. This is the Britney Spears In Control. It's got a little puffer, which does actually work. Uh, it also has a lid that comes separate to that. So down in the main section of this collection, I'll start from the back and work my way forward. So at the back, I've got some body shop perfumes and body sprays or body mists. The first is Body Shop Shea Eau de Toilette. I really like this particular scent range. So the um, body wash, body scrub, I think they have a shampoo and conditioner. I find it just really relaxing and comforting. So I do have quite a lot in that range. Next, I thought I'd try the Mango. 
not a huge fan of this in the body mist or the perfumes but I do like the body butter in their mango range next is the body mist in the Shea scent so that's actually really quite nice too next to that we've got Gucci Envy Me and Envy Me 2 so that's Envy Me 2 this one is Envy Me and I actually have another bottle of this ready to go because I really do like this one I do have a review on Gucci Envy Me if you're interested that's also up on my channel over here is one of my highly prized possessions <laughs> this one is the Victor and Rolf Magic Dancing Roses so I purchased this the last time I was overseas and the box is pretty special so that's the Victor and Rolf oh, hello <laughs> so that's the uh, dancing magic roses or magic dancing roses and it is a beautiful beautiful scent I went back and forth whether or not to get this one and I just had to have it in my collection again it has the florals but it had a really really lovely juicy cherry scent to it and I couldn't help myself so I picked that one up but I don't think it's available anymore I think they got rid of it which is really sad I think they still have some in the magic range but not that one so I'm glad I bought it when I did and I'm glad I have it in my collection the next one is a slightly different perfume that many of you probably haven't seen uh, this is the 100 Bon Amaretto and Frambose perfume it's a natural fragrance uh, this is a 50 ml I think I bought this from I think it's Mecca Cosmetica here in Australia and uh, I really really like this one uh, it's sort of like a, a raspberry-ish scent uh, but it's got that amaretto scent to it as well I do have it in a small rollable which is how I discovered that I liked it and then I bought the larger bottle so next to that one of my all-time favorites as you would all know is the Guerlain La Petite Robe Noir. This is the original, the Eau de Parfum. This is my, probably my most worn scent. I love it. Again, that cherry note. I actually like a lot of the flankers. So Flanka is sort of like a, a remake or a, a sister or <laughs> like a, a Another one that they release of a main perfume. I like a lot of them in the Guerlain range, in the Le Petite, Le Petite Robe Noir range. Um, but that's my all-time favourite. It's the original. It, in my opinion, is the best and I don't have anything else that's like it. So I love it. The next scent is the Eau de Parfum Stella by Stella McCartney. Again, this is another one where I wear this one quite a lot sort of a very fresh rosy almost citrusy rose kind of a smell and then you've got the Eau de Toilette version as well which I don't reach for as often um, but I this is my third bottle I think of the Eau de Parfum in front of that this is actually more of a male cologne it's Rochus Man, but it reminds me of the shade range from the body shop a little bit. Um, I just, I really like wearing this scent, particularly in the winter or when it's cooler, or even scents just to go to bed in. <laughs> so I don't know if I'm the only person that does it, but I like wearing perfumes to bed sometimes. And this one I just find really comforting. The bottle's a little unusual, but um, it is a nice scent. Next to that, you've got Toka. This is the Maya. I found this one through one of the Discovery perfume sample sets. And next to that is my Prada Candy range. 
So this one is the Prada Candy Night. It's the newest to my collection. Then you've got the original Prada Candy. I've got a smaller one. I actually really do enjoy this one. And next to it, which may actually be my favourite of the three so far, is the, I think it's the Candy Gloss, like Prada Candy Gloss. It's the, again, it's the one with the cherry <laughs> scent to it, so I'm pretty sure it's cherry. In front of them all, I've got some Pure Excess fragrances. This one is meant to have a popcorn note, I'm pretty sure it does. Or at least it's meant to, like a caramelly popcorn scent. I like it still, I'm, I'm still trying them out, um, testing them. But if you're interested, like I said before, if you're interested in any of the scents that you see in my collection and want to know more, please leave a comment down below and let me know because then I can do a review on that scent. The next one is just Black Excess. Then we've got part of the Guerlain range. So this is the Aqua uh, Allegoria. Allegoria. Don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. But this is the Orange Soleil. I really like this one. Um, it reminds me of the Atelier Cologne Orange Sanguine perfume, which is such a fresh scent and I really enjoy that one um, but it's difficult to get Atelier Cologne here now they stopped selling it in Sephora Australia which is unfortunate in that range I also have Rosa Rosa and one that I just noticed I missed hiding up the back here it's not so much a perfume but a body spray it's Rose Jam body spray by Lush so next I will go through the perfumes on my desk here and also the ones that just sit on the first shelf above them. And I'll work my way from one side to the other. So starting from this side over here, I'll zoom in a little bit so you can see them little closer up. So over here is a Katy Perry perfume. This one is, I don't know what it's called actually, the Killer Queen I think it was. So it's in the, it's, it's a really hard bottle to display because uh, it doesn't really sit flat. You have to lay it down, so it's a little bit awkward. Uh, that's the only issue I have with this one. <laughs> Next, you'll see I've got a collection of Roberto Cavalli perfumes, all from the same range, but they are slightly different. So this is the Roberto Cavalli scent. And next to it is the Deep Desire, which has a deeper red bottle for that one and the last one I think is called Nero I'll just double check Nero Absoluto or abs <laughs> something along those lines I'm really not good with pronouncing things and some of them are newer so I don't know them off the top of my head um, so that is what those ones are up the back there, you'll see these different versions of Angel. So these versions were the, I, I know they had a name, they released different uh, main scent or kind of floral scented Angel perfumes and they came in these bottles. And there were four different types. There was Rose peony, violet, and lily of the valley, I think, <laughs> from memory. So this is a set of all four. Two of them I'm not a huge fan of. The other two I like. I think I like violet and rose, but I don't really like the other two. So I'm pretty sure the ones that I like are at the front. 
Oh no, they're not. So, those, those are those. I do like them. I've actually got tester bottles that I picked up from an outlet store. And so I've been using those, the tester versions instead of those. It's very similar. They're all very similar to the original Angel. They just have a different note to them or main note to them, a different floral scent. The next one over is another Roberto Cavalli. I try to keep my perfumes together if I can, just because it's easier. This is Roberto Cavalli Paradiso. So moving over here, you'll see that I've got a lot of the Guerlain scents. So these are the different versions. I don't have all of them, believe it or not, <laughs> but I do have a lot of them. Uh, so you've got the Le Petit Robe Noir Intense, which you'd think is a more intense version, but I don't think it is. This one has a blueberry note from memory. So it doesn't have the cherry note, it's got blueberry instead. The next one across is, and I think it's an odor, no it is an odor, yeah it's an odor toilette, it's Eau Fresh. This is very different to the others in the range, it has more of a green tint to it, if you can see. Uh, I not a huge fan of this one. I saw it go on sale for quite a, a lot off the recommended retail price not that long ago. So I picked it up and thought I'd try it. Um, but I'm not a huge fan of it. Uh, it's a cute bottle though. It reminds me of Tinkerbell. There's just something about the bottle. The next one is the Black Perfecto. Which is... It reminds me of the original scent, but it is different. They do have different notes. Uh, this one's sort of deep and almost smoky-like. Uh, so this is very popular, but I don't know if you can get that anymore. Then you've got Le Petit Robe Noir. This is the Eau de Parfum Lurgy. I'm not sure what that means. I'm sure it means something because it's on a few of the bottles and I'm sure I'm saying it wrong but <laughs> that's that's just a, again a different version I don't know if it's a, a floral version or a summer version um, but again just a, a slightly different one next you've got another, another black perfecto but this is the black perfecto floral I thought this is a really cute bottle I actually do enjoy this one quite a lot and I do have a larger bottle of that to which you'll see up a bit higher. Next to that is the original but in a smaller size because these are one of the ranges where I do want to collect them. Uh, maybe not all of them, I don't need all of them but I do intend on using them too and I just get whatever size I can find when I can find them because it's very difficult to find them here. <laughs> um, it was actually really difficult to find them the last time I was overseas too. The next one is another Guerlain scent, and it's the Mon Guerlain Eau de Toilette. This recently went on sale for, I think it was about 50% off. So I picked this up because it sounded interesting. And I'm trying to try different perfumes that are slightly outside of what I would normally go for as well. So I'll move over to this side the desk now. This is where I have my nest fragrances. So there are others that I have in the rollable but I haven't been able to get them in the larger size. I can buy them in Sephora here but they don't have a great amount of stock unfortunately. But And some of these have been discontinued so I do have backups. <laughs> so I'll let you know one of them in particular. Uh, this one is Black Tulip. I really love the bottles of the Nest Fragrances. They're sort of, they're simple, but they're just really colourful. They remind me of uh, like a, something that should be on a postcard or a calendar or a wallpaper or something. It's just really beautiful bottle art. This is Cocoa Woods. 
I really like this one, but it has been discontinued. So I did buy some backup bottles when they went on sale at Sephora. As soon as things go on sale, I start to worry. And then I look up whether or not they've been discontinued. A good place to find out is generally on the brand's social media page. People will ask and they will normally reply. That's how I found out this one's been discontinued. I actually really like it. Uh, it's different. It's not a floral scent. It's like warm and oriental woody. But I really, really like it, particularly for winter. The next is Indigo. This was, I think, the first one. This in Parad Paradise were the first ones that I tried. This is very different to other things that I've got still, and I love it. It's such a nice scent. But if you are interested, again, on any reviews, please do let me know. And the last one is Paradise, which I don't know if they still make this one. Next to those is uh, Chopard's Wish. This used to be compared to Angel. And to be honest, I can't quite remember if I think it is or not, but I might try it out again and see. Because <laughs> I'm actually getting back into Angel. It's strange, but I really like it. Uh, next is some of the DKNY Be Delicious. So this is the normal Be Delicious. I think I may have a video about these ones up on my channel. I will double check. And then this is the Fresh uh, fresh Blossom, I think it was called. Yes, it is. The Fresh Blossom, the pink version. You can see me there. Hi. <laughs> so now I'll move up slightly to the shelf here. Now these are newer to my collection and I have really been enjoying them, but I really don't like the bottles. <laughs> look, they look good on display, but I don't know. I, I go between liking them and thinking that they're tacky. They're also a bit hard to hold. They're a little bit, um, I've got them blue tacked down so they don't fall over, but they're just, they're a little bit difficult to hold on to when you're wanting to spray it because the spray is at the front here and to spray it you press the back of the heel so yeah they are a little difficult to hold uh, this is the Eau de Parfum Supreme and then I've got uh, the very good girl good girl and the Lurgy I think it's called um, ones as well so they're all again same same bottle Ooh. just different colors the newest one I think it came out at least it was only just released here in Australia this year is the red one um, but if you are interested again please do let me know because I might group them together and do a an overall review on the whole range so now moving to the shelf Again, I've got another Black Perfecto Floral. In the bottle next to it is Meteorite's Perfume by Guerlain. It's meant to have that same scent as the Meteorite balls that they had that were really, really popular. Uh, I, again, purchased it when it was on sale. I think it's been discontinued, but it's sort of powdery and I think it's got like violet scents to it. It's very different. Um, I'm not sure if I like it completely or not, or whether or not I'm going to pass it along, but I think it's a pretty bottle at the very least to display. Next to that is um, Ricky Ricky or Richie Richie. And if I go over, there's a little bit of the Joe Malone Red Roses. Uh, I do have a bigger one actually, which I missed down on this bottom shelf. I I'll see if I can scroll across here and just go down. So there. That is actually Red Roses full size from Jo Malone. That was the scent that I ended up wearing on my wedding day. Um, but that's just the smaller version here. 
We've got the little tiny apple bottles. And at the end over there are some scents that you may recognise, maybe not. This one is a scent that I still really, really love but it is near impossible to find now because it was discontinued and it was discontinued quite a while ago from what I can gather. It is the Angel Innocent by Muggler or Moogler, <laughs> it's the Terry Moogler, uh, angel creator essentially. I really really like this one um, but yeah this is all I have left, this is it. Uh, next to that is Ghost, uh, is it called Night, I think? Deep Night. This is another older scent. And next to it is the iconic Angel perfume back there. So moving up, I won't grab a lot of these because they are quite precariously placed, but I'll see what I can do. So I've got Vera Wang Rock Princess, the Scotch and Soda perfume, and I've tried it. There's a note in there which I, I can appreciate it for what it is, but I'm not sure it's my kind of scent. I've got the L'Occitane Vanilla scent at the back, and then a L'Occitane perfume at the front. Uh, is it Eau de Par Paris? It's a very earthy, incense -y kind of fragrance which is not what I normally go for but it sounded interesting so I thought I'd try it. Here we have the Escada perfumes which I still love them. Uh, it's very much like a 2000s trend, the fruity, the floral, they're just lovely. I've got more that don't have lids so I have them in a, in a basket like a, a a container thing that's in my cupboard um, but I love them you've got the Ibiza Hippie Marine Groove uh, Cherry in the Sky I think there is a Sunset one the Taj Sunset uh, you've got others which I cannot remember the name Pacific something the stickers have worn off on a lot of these so I don't have the names but yeah They've been discontinued. I can't even find Escada perfumes apart from the reformulation of magnetism in Australia and a couple of their others. But these particular ranges, I cannot find them anywhere and a lot of them have been discontinued. So it's a shame, but I still like them. So I like to have them out on display. At the end there, we've got some of the Escada magnetism range. So you've got the original magnetism in this bottle, the Eau de Toilette version, this bottle, and then Eternity by Calvin Klein in that bottle there. So for the last ones that are out on display here, I'm going to zoom in because I am not going to reach up to get them all, <laughs> but I will let you know what they are. So I'm going to reposition the camera just a little bit to try to make it so you can see them. So these scents are the Comte de Sud Pacific scents and starting from left to right you have Vanilla Peach, Vanilla Extreme. The next one I can't read because the writing is, I think it's Vanilla Apricot, then the Opamello, then I think the next one is passion fruit, so vanilla, oh, vanilla passion, vanilla pineapple, uh, vanilla cannelli, <laughs> and then a more cacao uh, on the right hand side. I really like this one, the uh, a more cacao um, or cocoa. I think it's cacao. It's like a chocolate scent, but it's more like a dry cocoa powder. Uh, dry chocolate cookie kind of fragrance. I actually really like a lot of these, but they are quite strong. Some of them I do have backups of. And these ones, in all honesty, are quite old, but they still smell fine. So I don't see a problem with them. And I love them. 
and I still like them. They're very simple bottles, and I think you can still find them. It's just like I keep saying, like a lot of things, they're just really difficult to find in Australia, but I'm pretty sure overseas you can still get them. So for this final section, on at least this section here, I will do the same thing that I did on the other side, and I'll walk you through all of these, um, but I might start from the ones at the top here first. So I will just zoom in to focus on some of these ones and let you know what they are. So at the top there, you'll see that I have a bottle of Scandal, which is this one here. I keep it in this little velvet thing that it came in because it's just so much easier. Uh, so that's the John Paul Gaultier Scandal. very uh, interesting lid it's very different to other lids you might see <laughs> next to those underneath at least you've got the flower bomb so the Victor and Rolf flower bomb I do have a video on flower bomb so if you are interested that's already out this is probably my fourth bottle or so of this um, I love flower bomb I really do enjoy it. Over here you've got the In Love With You, which is a, it's a version of the Because It's You. So it's in the same line by Emporio Armani. Um, so that's that one there. Moving down a little bit further, you've got, uh, so that one, sorry, was In Love With You Freeze. And then below that you've just got the In Love With You Next to that, I have the smaller sort of travel or collectible sizes of the La Petite Robe Noir. And underneath that, I've got uh, Paris. So this one's the Paris Roses, and then the small one is Paris. And over this side here is the Lolita Lempeca, I think it's called. This one, you may have heard of it. If not, you might recognize the bottle. Got the larger one and the smaller one there. At the bottom, at the very, very bottom there, you might see peeking through. That's just an empty bottle of indigo from Nest. So it doesn't actually have anything in it. But I will zoom out and move over a little bit to show you what's down here. <laughs> So starting from the back, I've got a Guess Perfume. This particular scent is the Eau de Parfum Bella Vita. It's a very glitzy bottle. I'm not a huge fan of the bottle, to be honest. It was more the notes that intrigued me, and I'm still trying that one out. In front of that, I have a Bulgari scent, which is Rose Essential. Again, another of the rose scents that I was trying out. Next to that is an old J-Lo perfume. I think it is anyway. Jennifer Lawrence perfume. A uh, Jennifer Lopez um, perfume. I think it's called Deco. If I remember correctly, I don't know if it says it on there. Uh, but I think that's what it was called. Unusual bottle. Again, sometimes I don't really like the bottles that are hard to hold. It just means that they're not very easy to use. I'll go through the tray first, and then the side, and then some of the rollables. So at the back I've got the Atelier Cologne scents. The first is the Pomelo Paradise. This one is sort of a grapefruit scent. This is my favourite, I think, of all of them, is the Orange Sanguine. It's like freshly squeezed oranges. It's so, so pretty. Great for summer. And this one is the Rose Anonymy. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> this one reminds me a little bit of, has the feeling that Angel has slightly, um, but it's like a more mature grown-up version and floral it's another body shop perfume 
is the Atlas Mountain Rose Eau de Toilette. Next to that is one that I purchased not that long ago and I haven't really tried it, but it interested me, So, and it wasn't very expensive, so I thought I'd try it. It's a cherry blossom perfume. They had a lot of other scents in that range that sounded interesting as well. Uh, I think they had like an amaretto scent. We've got uh, romance in this section. So there's tender notes, sensual notes, which are old limited edition notes and the Ralph Lauren romance as well. Same bottles, just different colours. At the front I've got a perfume oil. I used to love the Body Shop perfume oils, but they stopped making them. Uh, this is the Atlas Mountain Rose. So the same as the Eau de Toilette, just in the oil form. Next I've got a Miracle by Lancome. And next to that is Miracle So Magic. Here. In front is the Burberry scent. Uh, Burberry Eau de Parfum. I think it's Burberry Her is what that one's called. It's only the smaller size. Then I have a Roche's Mademoiselle. This is one that I bought as a like a blind buy without smelling it. I actually really like it, but I'm pretty sure it's been discontinued. It's the Molten Brown London Rose Absolute Eau de Toilette. And from trying this and the portrait of a lady, which is the sample down here. So, um, portrait of a lady. They smell similar enough, um, but I know that one's quite expensive. This one wasn't cheap, um, but it was definitely more affordable. But I'm pretty sure they announced that they've discontinued that range or are about to. And this is an old fragrance of mine, but I, I still like it. It was very popular when I was in high school. It's the Ralph by Ralph Lauren. Now across the front here, I do have some of the smaller nest rollable sizes. So I will see if I can zoom in a little bit and get, get a little closer to those. Um, but we'll see how well it gets picked up. So... It's just the different versions of their fragrances. I don't like a lot of them. So when I do, I tend to buy the bigger sizes. And if I'm not sure, I'll get a rollerball. So here we've got Wild Poppy, which I really do like, but I haven't been able to find a big size. The next one across is Sunkissed Hibiscus, which is that one. I'm not really fussed with that one I think that will do me uh, indigo at the front you've got citrine paradise midnight fleur which I did have a rollerball I'm still not overly impressed by it it's just not my thing but it is very popular the next one I think was verd uh, white sandalwood dahlia and vines and indigo as well so if I zoom out a little bit Oops, wrong way. <laughs> then you've got some of the Harajuku Lovers perfumes. So you've got Love at the back with the purple hair, G, Little Angel and Music. And then behind it is the um, Bum Bum Cream perfume. So that's there. Down here are all of my small sample sizes. So the tester vials, um, uh, this is a tester sample from this range. Uh, and yeah, so I've organized them a little bit, but if you're interested, let me know and I'll do a video and I'll show you each of the samples that I have, because if you're wanting to request a review, I'm still happy to review a scent based on a sample. Um, even if it's something that maybe is not my personal taste and I wouldn't buy a big bottle, I can still do a review. So if you are interested in seeing what's in there, let me know. I just won't include it in this video because this video is going to be plenty long enough as it is. So in the back here, I will move in a little bit closer. So these are my rollables. 
Uh, I've got some diptyque scents. So Eau de Mint, uh, Fleur de Peau. I'm really not that great at pronouncing. Um, particularly French. I'm not good at French. Lombre Dans Liao. <laughs> uh, I'll just show you them because I cannot pronounce them and I am butchering these names and I sincerely apologize. And 34. <laughs> so no, that's um uh yeah, I think that might be what it's called. I think that is what it's called. <laughs> so behind that we've got some more smaller roller balls. This is Chloe. I do really like this one. I just haven't purchased it in a larger bottle. Uh, this is Stella by Stella McCartney, which I do already own. That's just good for travel. Uh, Black Opium by YSL. I do really like this. I just don't have it in a larger bottle. Uh, this one is Stella Peony. And then this one was the one that I was talking about, the 100 Bomb, Bon, sorry, uh, Amaretto and Frembos. Then I've got my Nest Rollables. So these front three is Cocoa Woods, Indigo and Wild Poppy. And the back three is Midnight Fleur, Black Tulip and Citrine. Uh, beside them I've got some glass house fragrances that I've been trying and I do want to do a review on them so if you're interested keep your eye out for that. Uh, they are Coyote in Bloom, Sunset in Capri. These are an Australian, uh, this is an Australian company glass house fragrances and they make candles generally so a lot of these are similar to or the same as the candle scents that they've released. Forever Florence and diving into Cyprus. Some of them smell similar to other scents that I've tried. Uh, Midnight Milan and Melbourne Muse. And Flower Symphony and Rendezvous. Behind that, these are also some more samples. It's the Map of the Heart sample set. Um, there's one in particular that I really wanted to try, but they are incredibly expensive. So I thought I would try them first and see if I like it. And then I've also got the Juliet Has a Gun Discovery Set to try out some of their fragrances too. So next I have some of the perfumes that I don't reach for that often. Or perfumes that I have um, that I don't want to use up or want to keep for more like nostalgic reasons I guess. So I've got the Atelier Cologne samples at the back here. They just have rollable versions of or spray versions. I think the larger ones have rollables of some of their scents. I've got another Escada Magnetism but this is the original version which I am trying to decide whether or not I like that better than the reformulation which is up on the shelf. Next I've got a lot of the um, Givenchy, um, what are they, very irresistible or irresistible perfumes and I bought them at an outlet. So there's a few different versions of that and I'm pretty sure they've all been um, discontinued. <laughs> More of the Escada perfumes, so the uh, Sunset Heat. I think there's an ocean, yeah, ocean lounge. And there's another one in a box down here. Then moon sparkle. Another sunset heat down there. And another moon sparkle there as well. So they don't have lids, so I keep them in here. Just because they don't look as pretty on display when they don't have a lid. But also it's just practical to keep them out of the way so they don't get bumped or knocked over. Uh, in front of those, I've got a Paris Hilton scent. So this is the Eau de Parfum Just Me. I'm pretty sure this was a Paris Hilton scent. Oh yeah, it is. Just Me. Paris Hilton. It says it on the bottle. 
And then another one of her scents here, which is the original, well, the, the Paris Hilton. I don't know if it has another name. Maybe it does. Nope, it's just called Paris Hilton. <laughs> In between those is another of the Eau de Toilette's uh, Pure Wish. So I had Wish out on display, but this is Pure Wish. This is that scent I was talking about earlier. Uh, it is G. It was Giorgio Beverly Hills. And there's a little bit left in the bottom. I don't really use it, but I don't know. It's, for me, it's still fun to keep. And here is another one of the Comte Sud Pacifics. It's Vanilla Mocha. It's a coffee scent. These I really, really like. I've got the Lancome Aroma Juice and the Aroma Tonic. Aroma Tonic has to be one of my favourite energising scents, but they discontinued it. And I do have a bath oil uh, in this scent as well, but I keep this one and I don't really use it. I just keep it out of the sun and smell it from time to time because it's just such an energising beautiful fragrance and I really want to find something that's similar so if anybody knows anything that's similar to Aromatonic by Lancome please let me know I've um, got uh, Davidoff I think yep cool water for a woman woman cool water a lush prince perfume back there uh, that's a Lancome connection perfume juicy couture perfume and then Friction Perfume. And this is uh, a perfume that a lovely subscriber gave to me a long, long time ago. Um, so I keep that one because it's very special to me. <laughs> and also Angel uh, in the box. It's almost empty. So for this last section, I kind of have to work at a bit of a distance. <laughs> but um, I didn't really want to disturb my dogs. <laughs> so... They're just laying down there, chilling out. Um, so I thought you wouldn't mind if I try to work around them. Um, so I'm just trying to zoom in from a distance here. This is sort of a drawer that has some old samples, some of the older collectible travel sizes and just fragrances that I don't really use very often or just don't want to put out on display. So. I've got a small Angel Innocent back here. The uh, other bottles of the Anasui perfumes, which you can see in there. Some of the old Revlon perfumes, I think it's called Fire and Ice. Uh, the Aromatonic Bath Oil. You've got, these are the ones that I was talking about earlier, the Angel Scents. So the Rose and the Violet. You've got um, Vera Wang Princess. I've got an Angel um, Modern Muse just here. It's a refill because I wanted to try it. Realised I think it had been discontinued and this was the only one I could find. It's just the refill. So I figure when I finish one of my other Angel bottles, I'll just refill it using that instead of Angel. Um, up the back are some testers for the Harajuku Lovers. Back there are small little bottles that I used to buy when I was a kid. <laughs> and same as the front. So this exclamation uh, is one of them. This is one of the first perfumes that I had in my collection as well. It's a Body Shop Fuzzy Peach perfume. I was given this for my 10th birthday back in 1994. And it still smells fine. And I loved it. I was a huge fan of it. Um, but... That is the final draw. <laughs> so I'm just going to um, zoom you all out. Close the drawer. Close the door up here. You'll probably see in the mirror. There we go. <laughs> Sorry, Papa. So that's it. That's my perfume collection. So all of the things that you see on display, up on the wall and over there, plus whatever was in my drawer. 
So I hope you all enjoyed this video and as I keep saying and as I've said before, if you see anything at all you would like me to do a review on or answer any questions that you have about any of the fragrances that you've seen, please leave a comment down below and let me know and that way I can answer your questions or do a review video or a video on a few different scents. If there's anything at all you would like to see from me, please leave the requests in the comments section below. I hope you all enjoyed this video and I will be filming an ASMR version when I'm able to do so. I want to do it soon but it's going to take a lot of work because as you can see my perfume collection is spread out over many different places. So I may not include all of them now that you've seen all of them but I do want to do a perfume related ASMR video soon. I do hope that you all enjoyed this and you're having a fantastic day, afternoon, morning or evening, whatever it may be, wherever you are. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.